Welcome. Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter a frequency table on a TI-83+. I'll be using this table as an example. First thing to do is turn it on. And then we go to STAT. And we say EDIT. And it uses L1, L2, L3 as a suggestion. But I actually rather go one to the left so I get to L6. And one to the right so I can enter a new name. And let's start with the lower bound, so that's L, B, enter. And those are these, 0, 10, 20, and 50. 0, 10, 20, and 50. Then for the upper bounds, go right back up. That's going to be U, B, U, B, enter. And those are 10, 20, 50, and 100. The next column, although it's bin size, I'll be actually be using F first, so the frequencies themselves. Enter, those are 4, enter, 8, enter. 10 and 3. Now to add the relative frequencies, I can actually use RF for relative frequencies. And then staying with this one selected, I'll go for second uh, list. The relative frequency is my frequency, enter, divided by and then it's second list one to the right another one to the right and then going all the way down to oh, sorry, to five actually for some of that same list so second list frequencies enter close the parentheses and now I nicely have the relative frequencies the cumulated frequencies CF F, enter, and those are actually an option in the options menu, cumulative sum of the second list, and then the frequencies, enter, close the parentheses, you have to cumulate the frequencies, in the same way you can calculate the cumulative relative frequencies. The frequency densities I also need to class uh, with, so I'll be using the CW for that. CW. And that's actually the upper bound, upper bound minus second list, and then the lower bound. Enter. And then the frequency density F D can be calculated by taking the frequency oh sorry frequency and dividing it by that class width. There we go. Enter, and now we also have the frequency densities. I hope you got the ID of uh, adding frequency tables to uh, your uh, TI-83. And in the next video I'll show you how to create diagrams.